First look at Oxygen OS 10 port from the OnePlus 70 Pro running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Oxygen OS 10 port from the OnePlus 70 Pro running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. In case you want to learn how to install this port on your device, I do have a separate video for that, which can be found in the description of the video and in the pinned comment as well. So we can address the elephants in the room first. For starters, fingerprint on display does not work on this build. Face unlock works absolutely fine. Pop-up camera works without having to root your device. However, there are a few things which you need to know about the pop-up camera and i do recommend that you read the pinned comment for those frequently asked questions next up the build is pre-rooted out of the box the only thing you need to do is install magisk manager enable magisk hide and cts is going to pass which means your banking app should work absolutely fine those things out of the way this is how the build comes out of the box you do have oneplus launcher baked in along with oneplus shelf and if you open the application drawer and swipe towards the right hand side you will be able to access hidden space as well now since this is oneplus launcher you do get some other cool settings as well so you can add double tap to lock from the home screen and bam there it is double tap to lock and double tap to wake work absolutely fine on this build next up in home settings you can also change the launcher layout in case you want the home screen only and you also have option for notification dots and you also have multiple icon packs from oneplus baked into the build and of course if you download third party icon packs from the play store those will also work absolutely fine with this launcher next up we can have a look at the recents so this is how your recents look like you do have close all apps button at the bottom and if you long press on an application in the recents you are going to get the different options associated with that application another bug in this build is that the volume panel is on the left hand side however i am pretty sure that the developers are going to fix it down the line but have a look at those animations they are super smooth let us now open the application drawer and these are all the apps which come baked in magisk manager is the only application which i installed explicitly everything else is baked into the rom now i know you're going to say that there is no camera application installed well i do have some good news for you and that is gcam works absolutely fine and all the three cameras work on the back and on the front the pop-up camera works like a boss in gcam port and anx camera also works however there might be a few small functionalities like vlog mode which might not work in anx camera and for anx camera all you need to do is install the magisk module links to gcam apk and anx can be found in the pinned comment as well game space is also baked in and if you go into game space you will see that we also have the option of fanatic mode along with graphics optimization so yes fanatic mode is present in this build next up we can have a look at the quick setting tiles which we get so these are the different quick setting tiles you get you do have reading mode night mode along with a quick setting tile for dark mode and yes you also have zen mode so in case you want to take a break from your phone you do have the option of using zen mode other than that in your tiles you also have screen recorder and do note this is one plus screen recorder so you do have the option of recording internal audio what are the other tiles which we get so let's tap on edit and bam there it is those are the other quick setting tiles which you get in this rom let us now go into settings and check out the different customizations which you get so in display you do have adaptive brightness and it works absolutely fine so it is you can see that the brightness slider did go down then you also have screen calibration you can choose between three different colors you also have night mode reading mode and video enhancer along with ambient display so wake up to display works then you also have horizon light in the building as well so you can choose what color you want the edges of the screen to wake up when you get a notification and you can also wake up your screen for new notifications then you can change your font size you have 
display scaling in status bar you can customize your battery style do you want a battery bar do you want a battery circle or do you want the battery hidden you also have a toggle to enable or disable battery percentage and network speed in the status bar along with what all icons you want to see in the status bar next up we can move over to customization so in customization you have three themes which are baked in vibrant tints illuminating lights and nuisanced dark you can of course change your wallpaper if you go into clock style these are the different lock screen clock style options which you get in this rom and yes there are a bunch of options with respect to the clock style we already talked about customizing the horizon light you can of course change your accent color so either you can select any of the predefined colors and if you tap on customization you can use these sliders to choose your own color or you can enter a hexadecimal color as well by clicking on the color code i just prefer to use one of the baked in accent colors you can also change the tone so do you want it colorful light or dark then you can change the icon shapes so you have round square teardrop and round rectangle of course we already talked about the icon packs and you can also choose between two different fonts so either roboto or one plus slate whatever you want to use next up we have sound and vibration so you do have dolby atmos but this might be broken at this point of time and i am pretty sure the developers are going to fix it down the line you do have live caption make sure you are connected to the internet when you go into live caption for the first time because you will have to download a few files and then you can of course customize your phone sms and notification ringtones along with the vibration pattern and intensity as well so yes these are the different options which you get for setting your vibration patterns then you can also change your system sounds and you also have touch vibration in the building as well next up we can go into security and lock screen so yes your normal lock screen passcode pin etc work absolutely fine fingerprint on display as we discussed is broken but face unlock is present and it works absolutely fine nothing much to talk about in privacy and location you get the normal android 10 options moving over to battery yes you do have battery saver so you can set a schedule for battery saver based on your routine or based on a percentage and then you also have a toggle to automatically turn off battery saver at 90 percent you also have option of battery optimization so from here in, if you're not getting notifications from specific applications, you do need to go into battery optimization and turn off optimization for that specific app because operating systems or Android skins like MIUI and Oxygen OS are known for aggressively killing background applications. Nothing much to talk about in storage. In accounts, you can add a OnePlus account in case you want to. Digital well being and parental controls also works absolutely fine moving over to utilities yes we do have parallel apps work absolutely fine app locker also works absolutely fine if you go into oneplus lab dc dimming does not work on this build right now and it looks like we missed a very important section which is buttons and gestures so alert slider the k20 pro does not have an alert slider so it won't work navigation bar and gestures yes you can choose between two different styles so either you can use the old school three button style or you can use navigation gestures and yes you do have the option of hiding the ugly bar at the bottom and the gestures are pretty smooth and i haven't noticed any jitters or any lags in the gestures or in the animations go into quick gestures you do have three finger screenshot works absolutely fine along with expanded screenshot now you can enable one handed mode and it works fine on this build double tap to wake we already had a demo of that and here it is one more time bam double tap to wake works absolutely fine now these other gestures which are working on oneplus devices with the screen off wherein you can draw specific shapes and patterns those do not work on this build for the redmi k20 pro quick turn off the camera works absolutely fine along with quick activate of the assistant app and here it is you can see that we did activate the assistant app by pressing the power button and to get to your power menu you do have to press and hold the power button for around three seconds and bam here it is you can see that we do have the power menu in the building as well and because fod on this build does not work so 
the option of long brace to take a photo has been disabled now in terms of gestures and smoothness everything works absolutely fine in terms of battery drain there is no excessive battery drain the build is good enough and me personally i haven't noticed any lags in the ui either in terms of benchmark scores here are the benchmark scores on your screen right now but as i always say do not judge a rom by its benchmark scores go ahead use it and enjoy it and there it is peeps that was our first look at oxygen os 10 port from the oneplus 70 pro running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you